Welcome back to Full Blown Panic Attack. Today we're going to do a review roundup of some of the movies we've covered most recently on our website and talk about them a little bit, tell you where they came from, if they were any good or if they were total shit. And then, uh, that's it. Okay. First movie we have is Gasly's. This is, comes from Camp Motion Pictures. Um, they sent it over to me for review. It's it's kind of um like an 80s or early 90s uh, small creature horror film um, in the vein of of Puppet Master or or you know Critters or any of that kind of stuff. Um, but the lower budget end, not the Gremlins end, the lower budget end, the stuff that Full Moon did and still does. For the most part, it was good. I enjoyed it quite a bit, actually. The puppets themselves kind of fell flat. I don't know exactly what makes certain puppets in movies have a little bit of heart. And I'm not talking Jim Henson, but, you know, certain things in, in horror movies will be better than others. Um, the critters were funny, I guess. These are kind of humorous, but they're also very annoying. But that didn't really take too much away. Uh, it was a pretty good movie. I liked it. I think uh, we gave it 5 out of 10. The story revolves around uh, this demonic ritual is taking place, but before it can be completed, aliens come down and interrupt it. Like puppet aliens, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. And then from that point, they terrorize these people in the cabin in the woods type scenario. And it, it was fun. The humor was there. It took a little while to get going. But for the most part, it was fun, and I enjoyed it. Next up, we got Vampire Strangler. Now, this one, disclaimer, um, it has hardcore pornography in it, namely oral sex mostly. Um, it's Misty Monday's first movie. If you haven't heard of Misty Monday, um, where have you been, I guess? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> It was all filmed in the director's uh, basement um, on a small, sad little bed. <laughs> and it it's about vampires, but not really, because it never was really about vampires. There's a vampire in it, but it doesn't do anything at all. <laughs> I mean, it's just about Misty Monday going to visit her cousin and ends up sleeping with her cousin a bunch of times. It's okay, I guess, for what it is. Um, I, I am a fan of Misty Monday. She um, has been in some stuff. I like the stuff that has more, uh, more story, more they're more comedic, um, more camp, I guess you can say, rather than uh, low budget amateur porn. Um, I know that she doesn't really like that the the movie is out there. Um, I'm not necessarily sure if it's just because of the, the porn aspect of it or if it's because it's not very good. <laughs> I really don't know. Um, either way, um, after I was sent this one over to, to review, um, I enjoyed watching it just because I enjoyed seeing the beginnings of what would turn out to be someone that I, I uh, enjoyed watching. Uh, but it's... It's only for fans, let's put it that way. Next film is Sylvia. Now, After Hours sent this one over too. This one is definitely an adult film from the 70s. Um, all kinds of sex. It's, it's lots of sex. It's a, it's a porn. Um, but it has an immense amount of story. So this movie came out uh, about a year after Sybil came out. If you remember, that's the story of... The woman with multiple personalities that I believe Sally Field, she either won for it or at least got some recognition for it. I can't remember exactly. So it was kind of on point then, but Sylvia is a girl with multiple personalities that only come out during, you know, sexy times. She has a man in there. She has a slut in there. She has somebody who's in love with another person in there. She has all kinds of stuff going on. There's actually far more story in here than there is in some other grindhouse movies it just happens that there's also some hardcore sex in it 
Um, I really enjoy the movie. I liked it a lot, actually. The the porn aspects of it are they're okay. They're they're nothing super special for for porn. There is a lot of analingus if you're into that. That's uh you know butt licking. Um, I don't know why, but she does that a lot. Uh, but the story it just it, it keeps you going. If if the porn wasn't in there, it honestly would be like a pretty decent old grindhousey film that you could get on a collection of 20 grindhouse greats or whatever like that um also there's kind of a a mystery and if anybody knows the answer to this let me know um it stars joanna bell as sylvia joanna bell is only in this movie there is no other movie with her in it and i tried to look her up to um find out if she went on to do anything at all and I couldn't find anything on this woman and it's I, I would like to know I want to know like what makes a what makes a person show up in one adult film and then disappear where is she I want to know I don't know why I want to know there's no reason why I should but I want to know so if you know let me know and I'll stop saying no okay next up we got the rage and speaking of Misty Monday, um, this is when she was done with the, the soft porn stuff and she went on to be her use her actual name, Aaron Brown. So Aaron Brown is in this one as long as <clears throat> Aaron Brown is in this one as well as Andrew Divoff Divoff. I can't I don't know, but you've seen him a bunch of times. He usually plays some sort of bad Russian guy or humorous Russian guy. Um, he was the first Wishmaster. Um, so he has that crazy voice, three wishes, that, that kind of guy. The movie it's, it's fantastic. I love the movie. Um, this is definitely a gore fest. It's directed by Robert Kurtzman. If you know Robert Kurtzman, he's a legend in the, in the industry. He's done the effects for so many things. In fact, I can show you here. It's, um, we got some listed here. It's Cabin Fever, Hostile Scream, Bride of Reanimator, Misery, Evil Dead 2, Army of Darkness, Wishmaster, Pulp Fiction, and The Devil's Rejects. He did special effects on all of those. So it's predominantly practical effects. Um, there is CGI, but it 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 mixes well. I, I, I'm a fan of practical, so I, I, I appreciated it. The only thing that I thought was a little bit over the top was that there was some CGI blood splatters, and I, I just never liked that. It seems kind of lazy to me. I mean, blood splatter seems like you just make the blood, splash the blood. It, it was very good. The story is that there is a mad scientist type who has created a sort of serum called the Rage. I guess he called it the Rage. I don't know. Um, to administer to people so that they would go all cannibalistic on other people. And he was going to destroy the world with it, basically. But then the vultures got a hold of it. And then the vultures went and attacked people and spread the disease. And so the movie is really about, even though it's about this virus thing or serum thing, it's really about killer vultures. It's like a monster movie, and it's great. Uh, the vultures look so stupid and um, so stupid and wonderful uh the whole thing a lot of chases a lot of a lot of gory um ripping off of uh, ripping off of parts and digging out flesh pieces and all that good stuff there's not a whole lot of bad i can say about it i mean you can easily call it a bad movie but i like bad movies so it's a very good bad movie i highly recommend it it came in this month's uh, March's Horror Pack, the DVD version. So if you got that, then you haven't watched it yet, get out there and watch it. Um, if you don't have Horror Pack, I'm going to go ahead and plug that now. Uh, I'll, I'll leave a link down here. You can get $3 off, I think. Uh, full disclosure, you can get $3 off anyway. Um, but if you use my link, then I get like $5 off or something. So that's cool. If you don't get Horror Pack, it's 4 DVDs or four Blu-rays a month, um, mystery movies, all horror. Uh, it's twenty bucks for the DVD, twenty-five for the 
Blu-ray, and it's totally worth it. If you get the Blu-ray, they have um, a uh, horror pack exclusive every single month that's just fantastic. Well, sometimes it's fantastic, sometimes it's not, but it's great to have exclusives nonetheless. And uh, yeah, you would have gotten the Rage, and if you didn't get the Rage or Horror Pack, then uh, go buy the movie and watch it because it's a lot of fun. If you like silly, monster, over the top, campy horror movies, the Rage is definitely worth it. Now, the last one that I am going to talk about is Suspiria. One of the best horror movies that's ever been. <laughs> I could talk about it for a very long time. If you haven't seen Suspiria, you've got to go out and watch it. It is the most beautiful horror movie that's ever been made. Um, the colors are, are famous just for being colors at this point. Dario Argento, the director, is a master at this sort of stuff. The whole whole movie plays like a dream of sorts. It's about a woman who goes to dance school in Germany only to find that there's a witch that basically runs the dance school. But that doesn't really matter. <laughs> the movie is is very, very light on plot. And if, if there's any complaint, it's that. It's that by the time the movie's over, you don't really know what's going on or what happened or why. But that doesn't really matter. You can actually watch the sequel and it's uh, Inferno, you can watch the sequel and you get all kinds of story about this stuff. But for this one, it's just like a fever dream, a beautiful, beautiful fever dream that is just a feast for the eyes. Now this release, Synapse, um, worked for a few years to remaster this thing. Oh, I bet you that was loud. To remaster this thing. And uh, it's the best remaster I have ever seen. It, the movie was already gorgeous, but now the colors they pop. The everything is, it's phenomenal. Um, maybe I'll figure out how to show some stills or something of it on on this video. I don't really know how to do that, but maybe I will figure it out. I don't know. But plus, the cinematography itself is amazing. The, the shots, each shot is, is meticulous and beautiful, and it has to be seen. They released a super duper special edition thing a little while ago. It was a steel book with new artwork, and it was like 80 bucks, and they only made a few of them, and I'm way too broke to be spending 80 bucks on a movie. So I was thrilled that they, they do release that same movie anyway in a normal blu-ray with normal blu-ray prices if i were to make a top five list of of horror films it, it would have to be up there um just based on what it looks like everything about it is is just gorgeous so check that out all right so that's going to wrap it up for today just five reviews today i'm still learning this video thing i'm going to keep practicing and uh, hopefully get good at it and not be too annoying. Uh, the response that I got from the first one, people seemed to like it. The response was good and very positive and that made me feel good. So thank you very much. Uh, I'll keep doing it and we'll have review roundups and sometimes I'll do single reviews of things. Um, I did an interview today with uh, Sadie Katz, the star of a upcoming movie uh, party bus to hell actually i think they changed the name to bus party to hell but whatever she was really she was really really nice i enjoyed talking to her tara reed is actually top build for that movie but honestly she's barely in that movie um sadie katz was wonderful in the movie and talking to her um so there'll be a review for that as well as an interview coming up soon um i have a a very full schedule of reviews lined up for full-blown panic attack so make sure you uh go to the site read the reviews 
Um, if you sign up for the newsletter there, which I barely ever send, um, you get a free copy of my first novel called Strawberries, and people seem to like that one. Uh, recently, somebody said it read like the writer hated God. I'm pretty sure that was a compliment. Maybe. Either way, check it out. It's a good site. There'll be links. Go down there. Links, links. And if you like this video, I need you to please subscribe. You'll be like the fifth person or something. And that will make me happy. And then I will tell you all about how happy I am the next video. Also, hit the like button and share it with people who might like this kind of thing. Um, you may know some. If you're watching it, chances are you know some people who are similar to you. Who might, Or you could be like me who knows nobody. I, I don't know. Either way, share it. It'd be nice. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.